Hey, what's going on guys? It's Turks back with another video and today we have a um, Romeo and Juliet and Goblin Diplomacy uh, quest script that I've created here. Um, this is going to be tied into my automatic bot farm here. Um, so on April 2nd, they added some information regarding accounts, free to play accounts uh, and trade restrictions. So you have to have 20 hours of in game time. Um, earn 10 quest points and reach a hundred total level so that means that i basically i can't stick with one thing and suicide bot it uh i'm probably gonna have to start i i probably can still suicide bot i just don't know how i have to set it up on like a perfect schedule because typically when they come into the office they'll ban accounts like almost all at once and they'll, that's when they'll basically do all their bans they'll do all their bans within office hours so if I set it up correctly, I can still get these 10 quest points and these 20 hours, or I can still get these 20 hours of uh, game time and 100 total level. But I'm going to have to kind of, I can't stick to um, one quest, or I mean one skill. I'll have to basically do woodcutting and mining so that I can hit, hit that 100 total level cap uh, and then trade over all my goods, but we're going to do some testing and we'll find out what works best. But right now it seems that, um, this is going to provide some issues for botters or suicide botters and things of that sort. So we might have to implement breaking and things of that sort. Um, we'll see what works best. We'll do a lot of testing and I'll provide that information out to you guys. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys, like, guys a quick little update. So I have this Goblin Romeo uh, quest questing script that I've created. It basically gathers all the necessary uh, items that it needs to qu complete this quest. You can start it with literally nothing and it will continue and basically finish this quest. Uh, it'll finish those two quests so that it has that 10 quest point requirement. After this is done, I'm probably going to start botting on it. Um, and I might do like mining or woodcutting to like level 30. Let me see. So you start off with like, after after I'm done with these two quests, we're going to have 34 total levels. So let's do some quick math. Pull up the calculator here. So 34, we're going to do 100 minus 34. We'll need 66 levels. We typically hit about like at least 40 mining whenever we're suicide botting. So that leaves us with 26. So we'll probably do like 26 um, levels in woodcutting. And then f after we get 26 levels in woodcutting, we'll continue with mining. Um, that'll probably be a good way to do it. But yeah, like I said, we might have to implement breaking. I don't know if suicide botting will be viable, but we'll do tons of testing and we'll find out. Um, another thing that I've added to my uh, bot farm here is, what is it? Uh, account status. So in my accounts, I'm going to have to blur out a lot of this. In my accounts here, we have an account status uh, or row here or column. Uh, this is going to be, it's going to have basically what the bot's doing um, inside of here. And it updates it in the bot table also. So if you look here, I can see exactly what my bot's doing. If it's finishing the quest, buying die, whatever it's doing, I can see what's happening. And in the future, I'm going to implement an account or a status stage or a status, like basically something so that I can go a little bit deeper than just buying die. Because when I'm buying die, I'm talking to the uh, merchant or the Aggie or whatever the hell her name is. I'm talking to her. I'm mixing dies. I'm buying, I'm buying a yellow die. I'm buying a blue die. I'm buying a red die. So I need to find out, I need to go a little bit deeper so I can basically debug the script if it ever gets stuck i can have it close out say it sits on buying red dye for uh five minutes or two two minutes or something like that something ridiculous if it gets stuck there that's when we need to um close out of the script and then we need to call like a uh basically like to remove it from the bot table and then call an error in the account status and then leave it in the uh, inside the status stage, we'll leave um, where whatever it was doing. And then we can go and debug and find out what happened, how that happened, and what uh, caused it, perhaps. So we can just kind of see and read and then refine our scripts and things of that sort. But right now, uh, this is 
this is basically we're getting there we're getting to like basically the farming process um my server still hasn't got here but i have a lot of the parts i just need some of the main components and um we'll start botting uh just to see what happens and we'll basically gather some information but i still need to create a mining and woodcutting script but um what I was working on before this, why I haven't uploaded a video in about a week and a half is because I was working on a Valorant uh, key farmer or beta access farmer. So what my Valorant farmer would do is it would go and it would sign up on Riot and then it would go and sign up on Twitch using Fun Capture service through Anti Captcha. Uh, it would sign up on Twitch with the same username then it would go and connect these accounts on Riot, um, on Riot.com. So after it does that, it would go and it would open up a Selenium uh, window and basically watch a Twitch streamer until it until like basically it gets a drop. Uh, I didn't make it update the my tables manually. I mean uh, automatically, but I could have implemented that. I just didn't want to. Uh, I probably still can do it, but I just don't want to. Um, so I manually check the accounts and I see what um, what accounts have drops. I made a decent amount of money off of it. And uh, it was just a small little project that I wanted to try out and see how it went. But it was fun. I learned a little bit, but that's the reason why I didn't upload a video. I was working on that just to try and get some cash flow, I guess, and just see what it looked like. It, I probably farmed about 50 accounts and we're still going right now. So that's good but that is the reason why i have not created a video in a week and a half but we got these scripts done so hopefully you guys enjoy watching this and seeing the progress that i've made so far um i enjoyed making these two scripts it was quite tedious but i did learn a lot about java and a lot about script making also um there's a lot that goes into this stuff and it's uh, questing scripts are quite sophisticated honestly it's but it's much harder than creating a fucking mining script i'll tell you that much um so i think our next step is probably going to be implementing a actual money making script like mining or woodcutting and then going and um and just running those scripts and debugging and seeing what we can do with those scripts um I'm excited to see what happens. I hope that this increases this trade restriction that they have added increases the price of gold because that means it will make a lot more money. Um, what else? Yeah, I mean, typically when you add restrictions like these, bots typically tend to get banned more often, and um, it makes the price of gold go up. Obviously, because there's not as much gold being farmed. Um. If there is no, I think the reason why they did this too is because they're going to be like, they're not going to be in the office as much due to coronavirus and they probably cannot um, be handling as many ban requests as they typically could before coronavirus. This might change in the future. I don't know. They might keep it if they like it. And uh, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe this will reduce the amount of ban, bans that we get in general. Like maybe it will uh, just kind of force people from botting uh, force people to stop botting and things of that sort but i don't know we'll we'll do a lot of research and we'll do a lot of data gathering and then we'll make assumptions off of those the data that we we uh gather but just wanted to give you guys an update so here it is this is what i've done i haven't really changed the gui much to, or i actually haven't changed it at all um i implemented proxies too uh the pro proxies update whenever necessary um these bots literally need nothing on them it just it goes to it actually goes to the grand exchange and it sells uh stuff to the grand exchange so that it can um complete these quests but yeah just wanted to show you guys this stuff and give you guys a quick little update but i think the next thing that we're gonna do i have it pulled up here let's see uh check status if Check if status hasn't changed within the script for a set period of time, preferably make a handler for this. So inside my scripts, I'll have like a function that checks. Is this, is has this updated from the last, um, has this string updated or has this enumeration updated from the last uh, five minutes or within the last five minutes? If it hasn't, then we need to call this and add an error with a code that we will 
define within the script. Um, but yeah, that's our next step that and making some money making scripts. So if you guys have any ideas, I would love to, um, get them and I will implement them. If you guys have any interesting money making, uh, ideas, just leave them in the comments and I will consider making them right now. Honestly, these fucking, uh, red berries are selling for an ass load amount of money. And I don't know why, but they just are, they're selling for like 380 each. So I might make a little farm for that and they're not even restricted on the grand exchange so that would like help us with our trading restrictions here but the thing is we can't even transfer over the gold so it's kind of useless even then because there's no way to drop this gold over to other people um yeah but we'll do some research and we'll find out and we will come back with another video once we have more information regarding money making and um these trade restrictions really uh, this is a really big turn off it's kind of fucked but we'll get past it it only makes the price of gold go up and it only makes bot botting a lot more worth it if you can make the bots right so i will probably be back within another week and i will give you guys another update i'll probably be making more scripts and i'll give you guys updates on the scripts that i'm making because i, I kind of enjoy making them and i do need more so like I said, leave the ideas in the description or in the comments. And um, if you guys like this video, please leave a comment, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications. Leave a like, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.